Hi, Scorpio. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the month's upcoming challenges. Now, if you'd like to learn more about E-Ray Taronic, you can hit the down bar. All of my links are there, as well as the links for the healing chakra beads and these sun catchers. Don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it does help me grow. Now, let's get into why we're here, which is to help you grow. <laughs> now, Gemini season, uh, we'll go over Gemini season in its entirety. Um, actually, we're gonna go over a little bit of um, Cancer season as well. So, Gemini season is here from May 21st through June 20th. The mutable air sign of Gemini is ruled by Mercury, making Gemini all about networking and communication. This fun, curious sign loves to mingle, and with Mercury at its helm, they're naturals when it comes to learning new skills and or connecting with those that can assist them in opening these channels. This month, we're prompted to take a page out of the book of Gemini. Listen, learn, explore, network. In order to expand your business this month, you're required to poke your head out of your shell, <clears throat> even if you remain in quarantine somewhat. Using the World Wide Web is gonna be your best bet, allowing you to reach far and wide right from the comfort of your own home. It's a time to connect, find the connect. Catch my drift? Now let's get into somewhere uh, our major planets will be transiting. Now we know that Uranus is in Taurus, where it will be for quite some time. Taurus reigns over our money, our values, our resources. Uranus is a planet of shock, surprises, revolution. It's semi sextile Charon at nine degrees Taurus on June the 10th. On June 10th, around this time, this could bring a sudden or unexpected opportunity to recover from a financial loss. Maybe even heal a broken relationship with a family member or a significant other. Some could find themselves the receiver of an enticing proposition that you know could ruin a relationship with a spouse, lover, or relative. So be mindful of your dealings. The sun is in Gemini at the start of June, keeping your focus on learning new avenues of creating success. Gemini is prompting you to be fun and sharp-witted with your business endeavors. Then it's going to enter Cancer at zero degree on June the 20th. This is a time you may prefer to stay home, nurturing those around you. You could slack off as to your professional goals, preferring to enjoy uh, things around your abode that bring you contentment. Definitely when Cancer is concerned, the home environment will be a focus. Now, Mercury, planet of communication, skills, intellect, it goes retrograde on June the 18th in the sign of Cancer at 14 degrees. Be discerning as to whom you spark dealings with, okay? Business or otherwise, you may find yourself in the midst of an underhanded, lazy character that means to misuse your talents. People who make it to high places through little efforts of their own. In other words, look out for the charlatan. Now, that being said, you will also, during this retrograde, be dealing with people you've dealt with in the past that you've had dealings with already before, where you'll be rehashing, revising, reviewing, going back over things, okay? And the retrograde lasts until July the 12th. Venus, the planet of love, pleasure, finances, abundance, it remains retrograde in Gemini right now. The way you go about putting these things into action is in question. Some will get a second chance to deal with the same issues. I apologize for that. <laughs> will you handle it like you did in the past? If so, did you even receive your desired result? Because if not, this is an opportunity to shift the outcome, okay? Talks about finances will be a big focus during this time. As you know, um, it, it being retrograde, you don't want to push anything forward in your finances. If anything, I would recommend scaling back. In addition to that, I don't, uh, I don't uh, advise any drastic changes in your appearance because once the planet goes direct, you just might not have a taste for it. Um, Venus goes direct in Gemini on June 25th. Now, if you read my, my newsletter, I made a mistake and said until June 25th, we know that it's, uh, in Gemini, because I said that in the previous paragraph, but it goes direct on June 25th in the sign of Gemini. So please forgive me that faux pas. 
This is a position of wealth, success, fame, intelligence. All areas are free to progress toward a steadfast abundance. Neptune, the planet of fantasy, inspiration, dreams, illusions, is retrograde on June 23rd in the sign of Pisces. It's ruled by Pisces. It rules Pisces. Um, they'll be affected the most, but it will affect all of us. We may feel lazy, bossy, sharp-tongued, and things like that. Being that Mars is there as well, which creates those challenges and things like that. And that, that, that may be that harsh communication where it comes to aspirations and things like that. So try not to fall in the trap of holding yourself back uh, by blocking your blessings with a smart mouth or uh, a rabbit tongue. Mars, the planet of energy and challenges, enters Aries at zero degrees where it is exalted on June 27th. This is wonderful for you, Scorpio, especially you and Aries are ruled by Mars, okay? Um, even as a collective, our competitive drive is back for all of us. Our ability to overcome hardships is heightened. Now, this will incite more protests as people will have the courage to fight for their rights. But um, your libido will be in overdrive. So don't allow yourself to be seduced by a snake in the grass. You really could stand to lose everything, okay? Now, Jupiter quintiles Charon at eight degrees of Aries on June the 1st. This could bring success to a health regimen. A chronic ailment that normally bothers you can subside during this transit. By the way, a quintile is when two planets are 72 degrees apart, forming a harmonious aspect. Now, Jupiter uh, is conjunct Pluto both at 24 degrees Capricorn on June 30th. This conjunction is favorable for making strides in literature and education. However, you must be willing to, to learn, to study, to try new things. So a word of advice, your wit is sharp. Just be sure your tongue doesn't match. We're dealing with Capricorn. You know Capricorns can be very direct because we're under that energy. So be careful. Now Jupiter is retrograde in Capricorn until September 23rd. Remember that. You'll have that boss syndrome going on until then. Now, <laughs> Saturn is retrograde in Aquarius, all of us, because I'm talking to the collective right now. Saturn is retrograde in Aquarius until September 29th. As you know, Saturn is the planet of restrictions, responsibility, even karma, good or bad. Your actions help determine how your karma plays out. In this position, it's uh, there's a danger of short-lived romances fouling up one's karma, so you want to be mindful with whom you have dealings. Success can be achieved, but one must abide by principles, okay? Pluto, planet of rebirth, renewal, resources, is retrograding to October the 4th. This is a time of transformation for the collective. Be gentle with yourself. In the coming months, our faiths will be tested. Do not allow yourself to be bound by fear mentally. Do not be easily deceived. Do your homework before believing media or social propaganda as it will be shoved into our faces from all directions. We as a collective are at a vulnerable point in our lives. We as individuals must do our part by keeping up our hopes and maintaining our mental health, as well as doing what we can to be a part of the solution as opposed to perpetuating the problem. Now the silver lining is that Pluto being conjunct Jupiter does help us to keep our eyes on the prize while facing the upcoming shifts in our business and personal lives. I implore you to keep a kind heart. The world needs compassion as does our entire human race. Now, the full moon on June 5th is in the mutable fire sign of Sagittarius at 15 degrees. This will be a lunar, uh, a partial, partial lunar eclipse in the south node. The south node is your karma, your past life experiences. You've been there, you've done that. It's time to learn and move on from there. We're in a reevaluation of beliefs right now, okay? The full moon brings things to a culmination. This moon is squaring uh, Neptune and Mars over here in Pisces, okay? And we'll talk about how it's going to affect you individually down here in your uh, individual scopes, Scorpio. This is a lunar eclipse opposing the sun. The new moon on the 21st is in the cardinal water sign of Cancer at zero degree. This will be a partial solar eclipse in the north node. The north node is where you're trying to go in life without being corrupted by the money and power attained as you travel toward your wildest dreams and aspirations. 
The new moon brings a new opportunity and a fresh start. Okay? It's a solar eclipse. The moon is blocking the sun. Now let's get into how this is going to affect your sign individually. Scorpio. This is my sun sign, so I am very excited to go over this with my fellow Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising sign people. Scorpio ranges from October 24th through November 21st. On June 1st, Jupiter, planet of luck and expansion, is quintile Charon and Aries impacting your work and health sector. Healing old wounds with a colleague is very possible. Try not to overexert yourself at work though, okay? The moon begins with the sun and Mercury, planet of communication, skills, intellect, sales, in Gemini. This puts the spotlight on your career, on your sector, I'm sorry, of shared resources, okay, your eighth house. You're, uh, you're gonna be talking about uh, how you can build your money with others, your shared resources. The full moon in Sagittarius on the 5th, okay, in Sagittarius, it, it, it's gonna square, that eclipse is gonna square uh, Mars and uh, Neptune over there in Pisces, okay? So this affects your personal resources, as well as your sector of creativity, okay? Um, it's opposing your shared resources, but luckily Pisces is your sister sign and it trines you. So maybe you get a blessing in finances through a creative endeavor that grows your shared resources, okay? So you have that saving grace there. Now, once the sun on June 20th and Mercury on June 18th move into Cancer, the focus is in your area of travel and learning and education and philosophy. You're gonna be learning new skills that could bring blessings and opportunity your way. The new moon in Cancer on June 21st echoes that energy, bringing a blessing or a new start in travel, learning, education. Okay, this is your sister sign. Cancer, giving you all this positive energy, Scorpio. Okay, now Neptune, the planet of inspiration, fantasy, and dreams, goes retrograde in Pisces on June 23rd, aspecting your sector of home and family. Now, as I said, Pisces trines you, lending you positive energy here also. This is great for you, Scorpio, okay? Now, Venus going direct in your eighth house of shared resources on June 25th gives you the green light to expand resources that you hold with others as well as love and romance, okay? We also have Mars moving back into Aries, your area of work and health on June 27th. Now that your ruler is back, like Aries, you have the all the energy in the world to overcome the upcoming hurdles and challenges, okay? Last but not least, the Jupiter conjunction on June 30th will be impacting your sector of communication and siblings. This sextile brings an opportunity for a rebirth in a relationship with a sibling, okay? Now, Saturn still remains in Aquarius. So this means you're having lessons in home and family, okay? So that means you're having tests in home and in family. It could be in stuff you have to fix around the home. It could be relationships with a partner in the home. So pass those tests so that the blessings that come in will be great. The better the blessings. Mercury goes retrograde on June 18th. It's time to work on things right now, okay? It, it's retrograde into July the, the 12th. Work on things. It's not a time to launch. Revise, review, go back through things. Remember I said you're going to be dealing with people from the past that you've had dealings with. Get those things straightened out so that we can move forward once the planet goes direct, okay? And don't be sensitive when it comes to criticisms, okay? Now, um, stay safe and uh, I'll see you next month. Scorpio, I love you. Bye.